Hey cute people, it's just me. I was playing in some makeup today and wanted to share because I love, love, love green eyeshadow. Already on my face, I have Mom's Luxury Radiance Liquid Makeup in Earth 2. I already did my eyebrows, which come out different every time I do them. On my lids right now, I have NYX's Eyeshadow Base in white. I'm also going to apply NYX's new matte shadow and dance the ties. I'm going to use Sephora's blending brush, which I like. I also love, love, love this color. Unfortunately, my camera doesn't show the richness of the color, but it's so pretty. Very, it's, it's like a pretty brick color. And I use it pretty much every day. So I'm just going back and forth to get the color um, all over, just above my leg. Then I'm going to go into BH Cosmetics 28 Color Palette. And I'm going to use that frosty color to highlight under my eyebrow. It's a very, very pretty color. It's really my first time using it as a highlight color and I like it. Then I'm just going to take um, a blending brush and blend it a little bit because I don't want that harsh line at all. You don't want that. I'm going back into the palette. And I'm using that charcoal gray color. As you can see, it does very well. It's not black, but you definitely, definitely can see it. So I want to put it on the outer V of my eye and move it a little bit towards the inner corner of my eye also. Can't see too much of how I'm using it in the inner corner of my eye, but I want to put it into the in the corner and also my outer and I like this palette because you pretty much can use this one palette to do so much with and again I'm just blending the colors together just make it look a little seamless I'm bringing it up a little bit past my crease not much but just a little. And remember, I told you I love green. I have been thinking about green eyeshadow or green eye look for the longest. And this green is exactly what I was looking for. It's so pretty. It would definitely be a pretty color for any holiday look, too. It's just really, really bright. And I'm just blending the colors together just so it won't be any harsh lines. I could have used my eyeshadow brush, but. I guess that's what I had in my hand. And I'm applying some more of the gray to the inner corner of my eye. Just blending some more. Like I said, I just want a little bit of it to go above my crease. Not much. And it's all about green, so I'm applying some more green. You can do that if you lose some of your color. You just may in your application. So wherever you lose color, just add some more. Now I'm using a Wet n Wild Brow Liner. This is in black. I wanted to do a cat eye, but I decided not to. I think I told you guys why. The mascara I'm using is Benefits. They're real. I really, really like this mascara. But I'm not going to show you much of what I do because I have no eye lashes. In order to get some, I have to really work hard and get just a little bit. Now I'm using a pencil that I really like. And this is Avon's Big Color Pencil. And the color is Night Glistening. And there you see me using L'Oreal Studio Secrets. It's a peach color. And I use that to really, really help me get rid of those dark circles under my eyes because one of my eyes, the dark circles, well, dark circle extends a little bit past my eye. So I use this. And I've been experimenting different ways to use it. And I finally come up with the way that it's best for me. So I'm just using my Beauty Blender, which I really, really love to blend the color in. 
then I took some of the Ruby Kisses 3D Face Creator. That's level 11. And I put it over the um, concealer from L'Oreal. And then you see me using the Beauty Blender to blend out the harsh line. I love this Beauty Blender. I'm going to try some of the other versions. But I'm telling you, this, I really, really love it. I never want to spend a $20, but I'm glad that I did. Now I'm using ELF's High Definition Powder. I use it, I applied it with the puff that's inside the powder jar. And I use this big, soft, fluffy brush, powder brush, I believe. It's a base brush from ELF. ELF. And I use it to wipe off the excess Powder on my face if you don't want any of that. Then I'm using Sephora's Michael Smooth. My color is deep. I'm using that to set the rest of my makeup. And I use this sometimes just by itself. Just a little goes a long way. But I use a very, very light application when I do use it. Here you see me just applying some more. Then you know that I put it on my forehead. You know, that was the contour and blush kit from L. I used that light brown color just to do a little bit of contouring. I'm not really strongly into contouring, but I'll do just a little depending on the look. This is Wet n Wild Bronzer, and it's called Princess. It's so pretty. I use bronzer pretty much all the time. I may not highlight, but I definitely use a bronzer. As you know, that's um, the Ebony Bronze from the Queen Collection. If I highlight my nose, this is what I use on my nose. Because it just gives you such a nice, snatched, simple look that you're looking for. The blush that I'm using now is from Black Radiance. And I don't use a lot, I just want to flush a color. The color is Warm Berry and it is very very pretty a little goes a long way trust me now i'm using chestnut lip liner from wet n wild the lipstick i'm applying is butter from nyx and it's a matte lipstick i love matte lipstick very rarely we used to me put a gloss over any lipstick i love matte lips and then i just went back over it again with some of the chestnut liner. And as you can see, I'm setting my face with the Elf Misted Spray, which I like. And I did put on some lashes, which you know, I'm not a lash girl, and I don't feel lashes all the time, but I did it because I wanted some so cheap eyes. So this is my final look, and I hope that you like it. I had fun doing it. And I'm looking forward to doing another one real soon. Because playing in makeup is a lot of fun. So you guys, share and spread love. I have to say I don't like this enough.